Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number five from the February March 2020. Um, this is the Cambridge 9709 AS paper, Pure Mathematics 2. And um, as I've mentioned before, these paper two questions, these pure two questions, are basically very much relevant to the pure three papers because your three contains all of the P2 material and uh, so um, you know I do encourage my students to also answer questions from these papers as well as the pure three papers and um, so I'm going through this question here which is all about modulus function and this part A which is about sketching modulus functions is something which is new to the syllabus since 2020 um, so we're going to answer this question here. It says, sketch on the same diagram the graphs of y equals the modulus of x plus 2k and y equals the modulus of 2x minus 3k where k is a positive constant. Give in terms of k the coordinates of the points where each graph meets the axes. Okay, so we're going to draw these two graphs on the same pair of axes. So I'm going to make a pair of axes, my x and y axes. Let me just... Uh, do that again okay so that's my y-axis and that's my x-axis okay, we have a bit of space to draw, draw it on so I'll make this a bit longer for now because we might I might need to show you something I'll make this longer and make it shorter later on okay okay now so we have our y-axis and our x-axis. When you have to sketch a graph, um, if it's dealing with straight lines, of course you should use a ruler. Okay, it doesn't mean freehand, and um, you know it's important that you use a ruler. But you don't have to put all the markings, like one, two, three, four, five, six, and you just mark the points which are the important points. So in this case, they've said given terms of k, the coordinates of the points where each graph meets the axis. So we have to draw y equals the modulus of x plus 2k, so I'll just write the equation here, the modulus of x plus 2k. All right, now k is a positive constant, so that means that this is x plus something, it's positive. All right, now, when we are drawing a modulus function, we should understand that the modulus sign means that everything inside it is, is going to become positive even if the output of what's inside is negative. So even if this came out as a negative value, like if x values are like very negative you're going to have to change the sign to to make it positive at the end so if the whole of the equation is contained within the modulus sign then basically um the whole function will always be above the x-axis okay um so what we can do first is first i'm going to um, imagine what it's like without the modulus sign there so y equals x plus 2k and let's find where it hits the axis so it hits the y-axis when x equals 0. Okay, when x equals 0, y is going to be 2k. And it hits the y-axis, or it hits the uh, x-axis when y equals 0. When y equals 0, you'll have x equals minus 2k. So it's going to hit the x-axis at, the uh, y-axis at 2k. And it's going to hit the, the x-axis at negative 2k. And if we were able to just draw the line as it is, without any um, worry about um, how it looks in terms of the modulus sign. If we were just drawing y equals x plus 2k, that's what it would look like. It would cross through the x and y axes at 2k on the y axis and negative 2k on the x axis. All right, it would look something like this. However, because this has a modulus sign, okay in front of the whole function anything below the x-axis is going to be reflected in the x-axis so this section here is actually going to be drawn on this side so it's going to go something like this with the same gradient but like the negative of that gradient so it's going to look something like this so that whatever's down here is going to be reflected in the x-axis and it's going to look something like that let's just shorten that a bit so that it fits in our axes all right so this part here won't won't go below the x-axis and it's going to there'll be like a v 
sharp V at that point there. So this is the graph of y equals the modulus of x plus 2k. All right, where all of it is inside the function. And if we draw the graph of y equals the modulus of 2x minus 3k, now, if we imagine this without the modulus sign, you'll have y equals 2x minus 3k. And if you follow the same procedure, when x equals 0, y is going to be negative 3k. And when y equals 0, when y equals 0, um, you're going to have 2x equals k, 3k. So x equals 3 over 2k, which is 1.5k. Okay, so now, this is basically going to um, hit the x-axis like somewhere over here at 1.5k and the y-axis down here at minus 3k so I'm just gonna I don't have to be to scale that's where it would hit the it would hit if there was no modular sign so it's gonna have a steeper gradient as we can see okay it's gonna have a steeper gradient than the other graph and it's gonna go something like this let me make the line a bit thinner so it's going to have this type of shape. All right, so it's going to go through there, like this. And um, But because it has a modular sign, it's going to be reflected again. And it's going to pass through the y-axis now at 3k. Okay, at 3k, it's going to pass through the, the y-axis. instead of Because that, that point is going to be reflected up there. So it's going to look something like this. So look something like that. Okay, so let me just change this a little bit so that. So this is a graph of. In fact, I'll 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 just label it on here because I don't want to confuse anybody. All right, so this part of the graph, of course, will be gone because it's reflected, and none, not no, no part of either graph will be below the x-axis because of the fact that. Um, nothing can be negative. No output can be negative. All has to be positive. So, you know, these are the two graphs. Okay, so y equals the modulus of x plus 2k is going to be this graph over here, and y equals the modulus of 2x minus 3k is this graph over here. All right, so we have the two graphs drawn on the same diagram. We have marked the places where they touch the x and y axes. And that is the answer to part A. All right. Now for part B, it says, find in terms of K the coordinates of each of the two points where the graph intersect. Okay, or where the graphs intersect. Now, um, in this case, in this particular case, we have these two equations, Y equals, Y equals the modulus of X plus 2K, and Y equals the modulus of 2X, uh, minus 3k all right we can solve these equations purely algebraically okay because whenever you have this situation where the whole of each side is completely contained within the modular sign then all the solutions that we'll get will be actual real solutions okay if you had the case where a part of the uh, graph was not in the modular sign like for example the modulus of x and then plus 2k or the modulus of 2x and then minus 3k and that part's outside the modular sign then you might get what are called uh, false solutions play, uh, points of intersection that where they don't actually really um, intersect you'll find them algebraically in this case you will get their answers you know whatever answers you get will be actual solutions okay um, so in this case you don't really have to worry but I'm going to show you how to deal with this question as if you know you had to worry so that you know what to do in the case where you know you have those other situations where parts of the graph go below the x-axis that's the that's the time when you have to worry um, that you might end up with some false solutions but here we can see very clearly whenever you do a diagram you can see very clearly the points where they intersect okay so you know that there's going to be a point here and a point here there's two places where they intersect and both of them are along this branch of this uh, second graph y equals 2x minus 3k and this branch of the graph here is a branch of the graph where basically this has what's called the positive argument it's like it, it it's exactly as it looks 
oh, sorry, this is this graph here. The, the, the positive part of this graph, which is going to be y equals x plus 2k. Okay, so this part of the graph here is y equals x plus 2k. This is the positive argument of the graph. This is how it would look if there was no modular sign. It would, this is the part how it looks. This part of the graph is y equals the opposite of that. It's like the negative version of that, which is minus x minus 2k. All right. Now this graph here, okay, this, this graph, this, this part of the line here is the part where you have, this is for the graph that's drawn on this side. And this is where this particular branch is where you have the positive argument, which is 2x minus 3k. This is, the, this is how the line would look if there was no modulus inside it. And this part of the graph is if you change everything sign inside it, you're going to have y equals negative 2x plus 3k. All right. So we can see that this, this, this intersection here, let me call it a, is where they both have the positive argument. Okay, where this graph meets this graph. So we can say when 2x minus 3k is equal to x plus 2k. When 2x minus 3k is equal to x plus 2k. So you end up with 2x minus x equals 2k plus 3k. So we'll end up with x equals 5k. All right. And this intersection let's call this point, point B so this is point this is like at A now at B in this case we still have the uh, y equals x plus 2k but we now have the negative argument of this so this is where x plus 2k is equal to negative 2x plus 3k so we have x plus 2k equals negative 2x plus 3k so we can say x plus 2x is Add, add 2x to both sides and subtract 2k from both sides so we're left with 3x is equal to k so x is equal to one third k okay so those are the x values so now we can find the y coordinates of the points so we can use either of these two equations so i need to find when x is equal to 5k then y is equal to the modulus of instead of x i'll write 5k plus 2k which is the modulus of 7k which is 7k so we have one of the coordinates 5k and 7k and that's obviously the coordinate of the point which i've called a in my diagram which is up there and then we have also to put in uh, what x equals one third k into the same equation so y is going to the modulus of um, instead of x i'll write five, uh, third k so a third k plus 2k which is going to be y equals that's the modulus of one third k plus six over three k that's going to be the modulus of seven over three k so therefore y is going to be seven over three k so the coordinate of the second point which i've called b is going to be one third k and seven thirds k all right so there's part b of the question and on to part c and part c it says find in terms of k the largest value of t satisfying this inequality now it might seem that this question is a completely different question from the previous uh, question okay but if we look very carefully at these okay the two equations that we have they're kind of very similar to these two now this two to, two to, uh, to the power of t plus one can be represented as two to the power of t times two to the power of one if we think about it kind of in reverse like when you add two numbers with the same uh, base so when you multiply two numbers with the same base you add their powers so this is the result of you can say two times two to the power of t so we can see here that x and 2 to the power of t are kind of similar so you can say this is the same as saying 2 to the power of t plus 2k is greater than or equal to the modulus of i can replace this with two times 2 to the power of t minus 3k so if we think about it like that then we can say that let x be 2 to the power of t all right and in that case, we'll have the modulus of x plus 2k is greater than or equal to the modulus of 2x minus 3k. 
And if we think about the um, the graph that we had drawn, and I have I've got a copy of it here, so I'll paste it. Okay, so this is a copy of the graph that we drew in the last page, and this will help us to solve this. If I can solve this inequality here, okay, then that will help me solve this inequality here. Okay, because basically x is the same as 2 to the power of t. So we know that this is the graph of y equals a modulus of 2x minus 3k. And this is a graph of y equals a modulus of x plus 2k. And we want to see where the modulus of x plus 2k is greater than or equal to 2x minus 3k. Now they're equal to each other at these two points. And these are those two points here. So this is where x is equal to 1 third k. So this is the point where x is equal to 1 third k. And that point over there, where the other place where they intersect, that's where x is equal to x is equal to 5k. So they're equal to each other at these two points. But where is this one greater than this one? Okay, so what we can do is I can make the lines a slightly different color here. Let me change the color so it's going to be clear. So I'm going to make this graph like in, in a red kind of color. And so we can be able to see clearly. All right, so we can see where is the red graph higher than the other graph. Okay, let me just... Uh, Just change the color of that now again okay so let me make this color blue in fact to make it very clear okay so this is the region that we are interested in okay um, just make them different colors so that it stands out one second all right so we can see here, we're trying to find where the red graph, what's happened to the red graph? It's changed color again, sorry. Yeah, where is the red graph higher than the, the, the blue graph, basically? Where is this greater than, than that? We know where they're equal to each other at these two points. Okay, so we can say that this graph is higher up, it gives a bigger output if we see for example, when x is equal to a value, down, say when x is equal to 0, the red graph is lower down than the, and than the blue graph. It's going to give a lower output than the blue graph. At this point, they'll give the same output as each other, these two points. But between these two points, the red graph will have a higher output than the blue graph. So this, e this inequality will be true for all the values of x, which are greater than a third k, greater than or equal to a third k, and less than or equal to 5k. So the question is asking us to find in terms of k the largest value of t satisfying this inequality. So it's going to be basically when x is equal to 5k, that's the largest value of x that satisfies inequality at this point. After this point, they're going to, this is always going to be below that graph. It has to be above that graph or equal to it. That's the last place where it's going to be. Um, you know greater than or equal to it okay so we want to find in terms we want to find t okay the value of t now we said let x equals 2 to the power of t so I can replace the x with the 2 to the power of t and that's equal to 5k and then I can take log to the base 2 of both sides in which case t will be log to the base 2 of 5k and there's the answer that's t in terms of k in exact form well I mean you can't really do anything else with that because um, you know we don't know what k is so t equals log to the base 2 of 5k that is the answer to part c of this question okay so that completes this question question number um, I think it's 5 from this February March 2022 paper it's all to do with um, the modulus function sketching it um, equations involving the modulus function it's also involving exponentials, okay, and logarithms as well in the end slightly. 
And um, yes, yeah, a lot of things happening in this question. So um, other questions from this paper you can find in the playlist that will appear in the top right of the screen at the end of the video. Other questions from this topic of the modulus function you can find in this playlist. And I think I'll put also in exponentials you'll find in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.